All right, in studio, we promised you, we've got the founders of Africa Statues and Events, and um, they're here to talk to us about what exactly they do. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Habari ya subui. Poa sana. Changamka, changamka. All right, wambia jimajina tafadhali. My name is Gado Mwangi. Mm-hmm. I'm the founder of African Living Statues and Events mm-hmm. based in Kenya. Okay. Yeah. What is African Living Statues? African Living Statues. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a company mm-hmm. that provide human statues. You have seen non-living statues. Mm-hmm. But in our company, we give living human beings, but we make them resemble a statue wow yeah wow so ka, as in uliamka uli tuko na statue <laughs> <laughs> uliamka tuko na statue kasema unataka kuingia kwa hiyo busy ama statue ama uh, what what led to that uh, let me say back in 2017 mm-hmm. when i was in campus i did uh, a research mm-hmm. and on my way i found an interesting thing mm-hmm. on the net where I found there are people who are doing it but yeah. not in Africa human statues yeah human yeah. statues you find them in Europe mm-hmm. you find them in uh, even London they're yeah. there yeah so and i thought what if i do this in Africa mm-hmm. because it's not there yeah <laughs> and to be you know before i tell people to do it mm-hmm. the people who are doing it right now mm-hmm. i had to do it myself yeah. but nilifanya tu kwa hao so i decided wacha ni ni jua venye nitafanya so i painted myself mm-hmm. nikajiangalia kwa kio and what i did i smiled mm-hmm. and then wondered what if ni mtu mwingine ameangalia ka smile ka mimi mm-hmm. so i decided to call for uh, for the team yeah. for the people who will buy the idea mm-hmm. and yeah here we are How did you get your first client? Because I'm hearing something, you know, <laughs> check it. Nataka kuleta statue, stucky statue. No, itakuwa human. How did how did you have that conversation? Uh first when I when I when I, I decided now this is the idea. Mm-hmm. I looked for two guys mm-hmm. who are my close friends mm-hmm. and then we decided to do a shoot, mm-hmm. a photo shoot. Yeah. So I bought the makeup, mm-hmm. I bought the costumes mm-hmm. and first I went to the studio and I did a, a first shoot. Yeah. So that when I when I, I'm going to write the proposal mm-hmm. for whoever the client I want, mm-hmm. I'll I'll send together with the photos. Yeah. So the first client was uh, Junction Mall. Mm-hmm. That was uh, I think last year. Mm-hmm. Last year. So and then they asked me, okay, we, we don't know what is this, but yeah. we would love to try it. If yeah. you guys are saying you're ushering, mm-hmm. we would like to see yeah. what is this ushering all about. Mm-hmm. And then we decided yeah let's do it. So you took a concept that you saw you yeah. saw and you're like I could bring this to Kenya. Yeah. And you mixed it with the business aspect of it because when yeah. you know I'm looking like okay statues mm. we can have a lot of fun with that at, you know in the <laughs> It's estates. a lot of fun. But then how do you translate that to money and you combine it with ushering? Uh like I said it's mm-hmm. a I want it to be a marketing agency. Yeah. You know right now Maji tumefika Kenya mm-hmm. could get into the market mm-hmm. bana competition ni kubwa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I decided since I've I've completed my degree in mm-hmm. Mount Kenya University with PR mm-hmm. and uh, all I want is a marketing agency mm. kama zenye tu unaona huko nje. So I decided what will make me go into the market so fast. Okay. And then I decided this will bring so much attention mm-hmm. and the reception is so good. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the day how i make money it's through ushering mm-hmm. and uh, a bit of marketing because mm-hmm. people when get to see the statue they also get interested to see where these guys were mm. like yesterday mm-hmm. how i say walikuwa well, happy yeah. you know mm-hmm. at the end of the day your brand yeah people know about it all right i like it um the, do not touch the dial when we come back we're going to find out how you know is this a capital intensive venture and then you know how you keep competition away because kama ni kitu ya kujipaint si kuna msia anakusikia zai ana nafungua company okay it's not that easy all right in- stay with the reggae rhythm it's the inspiration sent from the king 25 minutes past 9 am you're hanging out with Kwambox and Bunde and we're learning about living statues human <laughs> yeah. life statues 
Yes, you need to go on to hashtag Chikanda. vibes MVP or on our uh, Instagram so you can see what we're talking about. I say, hey, this is this is amazing. Mm-hmm. So we are curious. Uh-huh. You guys are the first ones to introduce to introduce this company. Yeah. But how do you ensure that in case kuna listener to skiza na ataka copy paste na emulate? How do you make sure that you guys are staying ahead of the game? Uh, I know they will come. Yeah. Watakuja. But what we do we make sure that whatever we give the client yeah. it's quality mm-hmm. nobody can stop reggae. <laughs> <laughs> sorry yeah, nobody can stop reggae hakuna mwenye atafika your standard so at the moment what we are trying to do is to set the standard mm. like when a client give us the theme because unajua we also learning this mm. this thing yeah. because for real ni kitu mpya pia it's only that now we are trying mm. no na mm. and which doing so well yeah so to make sure that hakuna msemo wenye ana do the same thing that we are doing mm-hmm. we deal with the theme mm. like for example kwa box umetutisha give me four statues mm-hmm. tomorrow at 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 9 mhm we got an event i mm-hmm. want you guys to usher mm-hmm. so we ask you what's the theme of your event yeah. and you tell me we are celebrating women in business mm-hmm. That's what we bring. Mm. We bring the that thing. Yeah. The color yeah. that you want. Mm-hmm. So utapata at the end of the day uh to meet that quality for any person when you yeah. take kufanya this thing. Mm. We we'll take time. But again, mm-hmm. other competition is okay because it yeah. will make us to grow here. I also want to ask uh because you came with someone. Yeah. Um introduce <laughs> yourself please. Uh, my name is John Jogu. I'm the creative director mm-hmm. African Living Statues and Events. Dope. So How do you um you know come up with the designs? Uh, um, the designs mm-hmm. uh, I deal with creativity yeah. basically so the design the, the design itakuja kutoka kwa kwa the theme. Mhm. Event yako inakaaje mm-hmm. unataka nini? Mm-hmm. So out of that for example if I'm to use women in business mm-hmm. we may provide a uh, lady statues mm-hmm. probably a mebeba kama ka briefcase yeah you, some props nadhani mtu amekafungwa and such mm-hmm. kitu kama hiyo Um do you when you when you're creating what are some of the challenges you have because making someone into a statue naweza yeah. brayo hivi hakuange me i can't sit still <laughs> <laughs> i cannot sit still like even if i want to do i can't how do you ensure that you know th- that you're working uh, uh, you know cuz you, you can create something yeah. Yeah. lakini kuna statue mwenye anasonga mm-hmm. sana maze <laughs> how how does it go uh uh-huh. in terms of creativity first of all for the statues we we have we, we do rehearsals and practice mm-hmm this exercise mm-hmm. to keep fit yeah hey. uh, yeah because it's 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 energy Th- intensive that thing need to, you need to have a lot of air yeah. so for something less like women in business mm-hmm. how long does it take you to transform someone like kwambox vinyako hivi na makeup then mweke ma paint everything ako ready kwenda event uh what na we 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 like ile booked mm-hmm. in advance mm-hmm. like you have an event next week mm-hmm. book on monday so that because it takes time because unaweza tupatia vitu zingine unataka mm-hmm. unaweza sikia mtu ametuambia i want a statue in a car, like an angel yeah you know yeah. <laughs> kwa to have an angel in your event yeah. lazima tukue na hizo feathers yeah. mabawa na nini yeah. so okay. you need time to look for that prop that but, you but need but to set up you know to to to, to pr- prepare uh, the mm-hmm. the model from looking like me to looking like a statue mm-hmm. how long does the whole process I, take uh, it doesn't take long let me see 30 minutes we done. We? Yeah. 30 minutes. So yeah. unaweza even it transform ni kwa statue. Yeah. yeah right now. Unaweza transform um sawa cha kubonga. Ah. Bila za aweza kuwa fit sana. Kwanza with the color. Hiyo color yake ni yake ni ku retouch tu kidogo. Eh. Na black. Eh. Tumkisema black na watu wa studio. Na kuongeza gold kidogo. It will shine sawa vizuri. What is the fa- what are the favorite colors for making a statue? Uh I would go with silver mm-hmm. and gold. Mm-hmm. The, the the top and then bronze yeah. alumi- aluminum I am you know I'm listening to this biashara and I'm like why did I not think of it myself Nay paint mnatumia ile same ya kupaka rangi nyumba ama ni we buy it was, <laughs> it's a specific shop in oh, okay. actually it's it's only one it's sold in a w- in in one place hapa mm. tu Nairobi okay. tutasema ni wapi okay. yeah. tuliambia yeah. to client wewe mm-hmm. tulia mm-hmm. tulia tu na kazi tufanye tu pole pole na 
is starting this business a capital intensive business you know because a lot of people when they're thinking of starting this yeah. i'm a youth and oh and often we better but they are kunanga nini capital akuna capital kwa books so mm-hmm. is this an, a capital intensive business uh to start it's not mm-hmm. uh because for me after us it's a venue to me some of any animals that will come i had i had like uh around 15k mm-hmm. 15k was enough to buy the makeup mm-hmm. and the the other paints mm-hmm. and also to buy a few costumes mm-hmm. unaenda tu costumes what una buy tu tu mtumba yeah. kuna there are shops zenye zina to favor sana zime come up mm-hmm. so we get the, that local costumes up or in it cheap so you find that mali tunatumia pesa a lot mm-hmm. it's the makeup mm-hmm. and the the paints you know the for the clothes okay yeah All right, uh, 29 minutes to 10 a.m. Remember you are live on On My Grind. When we come back, we're going to find out how do how do this young gentleman market the business. Mm-hmm. Stay with the reggae rhythm. It's the inspiration sent from the king. 21 minutes to 10 a.m. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. You are locked on to this hashtag Vibes MVP. And there's been a lot of questions. Of course, we're in <coughs> studio with uh, the founder of African Statues and the creative director. And uh, on Jivo, Hilary Misoi, Anasema, the young lads are very creative. I've seen them a couple of times here in Nairobi, especially in the big malls and gigs. Kudos to them. Such an amazing artwork. Um, locked on hashtag my grind. Left to Pia Anasema tuned in African statues doing great work out here. Um, Mwingine Pia Anasema just kudos to you. John Moranga kuna swali mm-hmm. and I think uh-huh. he Pia Brian alikuwa na niuliza. Anauliza, mm-hmm. have always wondered how do they hold their breaths? Because where's your nawakipumua while they pose? Uh, Our statues on wanafa kubrithi ama wanafa? Yeah, yeah. They- The essence ni human living statue. Mm-hmm. So you are allowed to be human mm-hmm. at least for some time but to square ti unaruka ruka hapana. Mm. But we, we hold our breath for some time yeah. All right. Newton Pasa Pasa and Asema big shout out to Gathu and his team. What are people saying on Facebook? On Facebook tuko na mjamaa hapa anasema Chokora OCS anasema ko tuned in present from size of Eldoret mm-hmm. then Rasken anasema we is this to reza living statues watch to had living kutoka Karatina and all them tafika leni Karatina because he's never seen live statues tunakuja tunakuja eh? okay. tunakuja okay. so in terms of vinye sasa yeye ameuliza story za Karatina how do you market the business uh, first of all size we are dealing so much with proposals mm-hmm. to send to any verbal client mm-hmm. mwenye tunafikiria this 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 guy can go with this mm-hmm. so we 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 send a lot of proposals mm-hmm. and then our instagram page mm-hmm. it's it's so strong because most of the clients to my part are so you find most of the time one of our guy mm-hmm. pushing sana sana online mm-hmm. to look there for the dms yeah. to look for the verbal clients mm-hmm. there yeah. to look for events because a lot of events are being posted on instagram mm-hmm. so you find that after to me on an event this we can do it we now go directly and DM. target them yeah target so you're doing them. direct targeting direct. yeah and online yeah. marketing mm. Mm. all right how how do you find <coughs> online marketing helps your business well uh if i may start mm-hmm. i think it you need to study sana sisi kama the young people mm-hmm. to doesn't require a lot of lot of resources mm-hmm. you only need to Uh, ukaya hapo uangalia mm. yeah. mm. yeah. and, and write a good caption na kuta wasi wengi wako online yeah. like when you go to twitter mm-hmm. they are there yeah. so when you post tag the, the whatever is trending yeah. like on twitter if you want to you are thing to go mm-hmm. maybe viral mm-hmm. you go with the trends yeah. you know? so na kuta when, when we post the picture we tag the trends mm-hmm. and uh, at the end of the day you find one or two people come back to you and in terms of speaking about the clients yeah. who are your biggest clients that you've worked with who you're so proud that you worked with them uh first of all is uh village market okay. we have worked with them so well mm-hmm. uh the second client uh, it's uh two rivers after rivers we have westgate also I've done with Westgate Capital FM I've done with them. Uh we have done with uh Kenya Flower Festival if you heard of it mm-hmm. tulifanya nao. Yeah. Uh we have uh, done uh, with other client and it was fit with Josie. Okay. It's a, it's a, 
it's a it's a agency in Adilna Fitness. Okay. Nice. Yeah. How do you see the business growing this year? Because you know, you, you 2017 you had the idea. 2018, yeah. 2019 you've prepped it, gotten some business going. People already know you. You're on radio now. You're doing. Yeah. You know, you've got clients going on. What do you see the next big? You know, how do you open it up? Now I'm trying to get in as a complete established marketing agency, mm-hmm. but in a unique way, okay. whereby we'll have the normal mm-hmm. marketing tips yeah. for the normal marketing companies, mm-hmm. but now we'll have an extra special service, mm-hmm. which is a living statue. Mm-hmm. So when, when we looking for the clients, the next uh let me say in future mm-hmm. it'd be like this what we this is what we provide yeah now so to a special service which would be of course it are it, it packaged, packaged in a very special way mm. which is a human living statue nice yeah I mean, you're looking at it. I'm, I'm so excited to mm. even get to know you guys and the ambition that you have. There's someone who's listening to you right now yeah. and is like, eh, hii biashara na tuka kuingia. Niko na tupaint hapa mazimi ushu na tuni kifanya graffiti huko. Shout out to you, Mawano, Flossy. Flossing Mawano. Flossing Mawano. Unajiju. Eh, unatumia tu paint kuandika hapo kwa Ken Howe amekuandia. Don't write here fine 40,000. Umeandika hapo 50k. Uko sure? Uko sure? Eh. So, how wh- what advice would you give someone who's thinking, okay, you know what? I I like this. I want to get into this business. Uh if you have an idea, mm-hmm. for example, you have any kind of idea, mm. first of all, believe it. Mm-hmm and then do it mm-hmm. because you don't know where it'll take you for me i didn't knew who would be my client yeah but now we are there there are there are some coming looking for me mm-hmm. and if come and our tafuta mm-hmm. there's some time bad one mm-hmm. kwa at the end of the day unakuta the struggles in endazikisha tu pole pole mm-hmm. but now what you are facing right now is a ile challenge yeah now to get so much capital mm-hmm. now to make it a a complete mm-hmm working agency. company yeah, agency i like it i like it gabby you guys yeah. uh yeah. we're excited mm-hmm. would you mind to be a statue i don't mind i don't no mind. mind yeah i don't yeah. i don't know if you'll be able to work with me na kuanga mzee wa action sana but tunataka to come with us okay so and uh, we are launching it mm-hmm. on april mm-hmm. uh we want to now to tell the world mm-hmm. that this is it's there mm-hmm. it's working yeah. and you are ready for anything so on april mm-hmm. it will be a big festival it, it's called african living statues festival, festival mm-hmm. where we, where to ta present over 20 statues mm-hmm. different ideas different creativity peer to peer chance ya other people with different ideas yeah. to come in and uh, at least show their work and also we are looking for makeup artist mm-hmm. mm-hmm. if you know you have that special thing mm-hmm. with your hand ukishika to your makeup mm-hmm. and then you do a special art mm-hmm. That's what we are looking right now because we want to work with with people in wana fikiria as in to kona ngine kali yeah i get i love yeah. it i love it thank you so much for coming through gather yeah. you and um, y- your colleague this has been an amazing conversation brano melan nini go hold the breath mini mm. <laughs> melan brian you you can be a living statue vinyetuko stay with the reggae rhythm it's the inspiration sent from the king, king.